I'm Jared Bruton, my oh, major is mechanical engineering, and I'm from Shane, Utah. I'm Jay Lil, I'm yeah, from uh, Taiwan, uh, uh, major in chemical engineering, senior. My name's Kyler Frisbee, from Orem, Utah, civil engineer. EIC. The purpose of our project was to design and build a low-cost, hand-powered washing machine for use in developing countries. Currently, the people on the Uros Islands wash clothes for two or three hours per day by hand. Because of exposure to cold and wet, this often results in women washing until their hands and wrists actually bleed. So, we created a low-cost and easy-to-build hand-powered machine based on improvements from previous designs the needs of the people on the islands. This machine allows people to wash their clothes without getting their hands wet. Okay, so here's our barrel. This is how it's made. First, we cut a door. We used a hacksaw to do that. Later, we ended up using the door as a cover. Then if you look inside, we have a sheet of corrugated plastic which is used for a lot of roofs in Peru. We cut that to size, bolted it in with four bolts, put the bolts inside out so they didn't catch on the clothing. Our third step was to attach a handle. So this handle is just bolted on with some brackets that we found at a local hardware store. The handle is aluminum which we chose so that it wouldn't rust. Again, we put the bolts from the inside out so they won't catch on clothing. Our final part of construction was to put on a drain. The drain consists of a valve and a hose that runs off the island so that they can drain the water directly into the lake, which is what they do after they wash. So our original design was to just cut this door out and leave it off. We thought people would like being able to see their clothes or whatever. There was some splashing of water, but if you have a lot of clothes in there, it wasn't very bad. It didn't seem to be a problem. But the people here seemed to want a door. They thought if a door was on here, they'd be able to like go faster and not as much water would come out. So whether that's true or not, that's what they wanted. And <laughs> so we just bought two hinges, um, bolted them on, and then this latch. Um, this was Richard's idea of how to do it. These are the same type of latches they use on their doors and things. So. And then we use bolts rather than screws. This thing came with screws, but they don't want to use screws because it get caught on their clothes. That's pretty much it. So um, our first idea of this have this draining system is because we are considering this is very easily to be worn out. If we wash our clothes every single time, we have to take it off and take put it on again. So a draining system will help a lot, especially um, those islanders. They Wash their clothes really close to the lake. So with this pipe, we can actually directly dispose of our uh, waste of water going to the lake. Something else, on our original barrel, the handle doesn't come out, but this one does. So that's how we made our washing machine. We use it by moving it back and forth, and with a 15 minute wash and two five minute rinse cycles, you can clean a load of laundry in under 40 minutes easily. Because the water inside is moving as a wave, there are certain speeds that are easier to wash at because of the wave frequency. By experimenting, you can use the wave motion to create a rhythm where the wave is moving the same speed as the barrel, which makes the washer easier to operate.
Our goals when we started this project were simple. We wanted to build and design a hand-powered washing machine that was effective, easy to use, easy to build, affordable, and easier on your body than hand-washing clothes. We met all of our goals. As far as being effective cleaning clothes, we tested our machine with multiple dyes as well as everyday dirty clothes and they came out clean. I've washed my own clothes in it multiple times and worn them and they were just fine. Um, it was easy to build. You can build one of these in between two and three hours using mostly hand tools. Uh, we came through at a final cost of between 40 and 50 US dollars depending on the size of the barrel and that was within the range of the people we were working with in Peru and affordable. And finally, it's very intuitive to use and it's physically much easier than hand washing clothes. Our hope is that through this design, others can learn and make even better designs that can be used to help people everywhere in the world.